In this After Effects tutorial, we will learn how to create a minimal Christmas title animation inside of After Effects. Throughout the tutorial, we will learn various different techniques. So make sure you stay tuned throughout the video and watch the video till the end. Also make sure you subscribe to the channel and press that bell notification icon so you never miss any new videos and updates on the channel. So with that said, let's jump into After Effects and get started. All right, so here we are in After Effects. Let's start by creating a new composition. I'm gonna keep it 1920 by 1080, 30 FPS and 10 seconds long. Let's rename this to render as this is gonna be our main render composition. Hit OK. Let's select the text tool and type in our text. Now for the font, I will be using Niagara Solid. I'll mention the link to download this font in the description below and also you can download the complete project file absolutely free. Again, the link is in the description below. So I'm going to click and let's type in Mary. Let's increase the size to around 200 pixels. That looks good. Align it into the center. Again, if you don't see this align tab, you can find it under windows align. Just turn that on. I'm going to select this text, hit control D to duplicate it, pull this below just like so let's double click and type in our second text now i can go ahead and turn on my title action save let's select the text align it into the center properly and then i can just move this down so that our text is properly lined up there we go then again i'm going to select the text tool and let's build up our design so i'm going to use some dots so to use this i'm going to just hit full stop and hit space hit full stop hit space and just continue the process unless and until we get something like this now i'm going to change the font for this to arial let's go with arial bold so this looks nice I can again align this into the center. Let's pull this down and also bring down the size to around 32. Now I can increase the spacing just like so. All right, so I added some more dots, maybe bring down the spacing a bit. And one thing that we need to do, which probably I should have done this earlier, is hit Control R to bring up the rulers. Hit Control R to bring up the rulers and drag the guides just like so all right and now you can see the design should be properly lined up between the guides okay then i'm going to select the rectangle tool let's change the fill to white and let's create a shape just like so let's go into rectangle rectangle path one unlink this and let's set this to around 15 move this at the top maybe 15 is a bit too much i'll go with something like 12 and call this line then go into effects and preset and type in venetial lines now i'm going to increase this a bit like so and play around with the width so i'm going to keep it very subtle around 12 and give it the direction of 45 degrees and I can play around with the transition completion to get the desired look maybe bring this down to 10 mm, that looks good we can align the anchor point into the center by holding control and then double clicking on the pan behind tool, just like so that is looking good let's select the text tool and type in our top text I'm going to align this into the center, bring that down. And aerial bold looks good. So I'm going to go with this. Maybe let's go with an aerial regular. Yep, that looks much better. Let's increase the size a bit and then increase the spacing so that it fits in properly with our guides. Okay. That looks good to me. Now let's go ahead and select the polygon tool. 
I'll click and hold shift to drag and create a polygon. I'm going to rename this to try for triangle. Go into polystar 1, polystar path 1 and set the points to 3 from 5. So we get a nice triangle. I'm going to align this into the center. Let's, let's pull this down. Now let's select the polystar path 1. Right click and select convert to bezier path. Now I can select the path, select the point and drag this towards our guide. There we go. That is looking good. All right, let's close this up. And now I can select the elements. That is the triangle the line, the dots. And let's move this to the top and give them a different color. And then I can hit control D to duplicate them, pull them up on the top. Again, change the color to something like maybe an aqua. And I'm going to move this. Oh, I'm going to select these three and move them. Just like so. All right. And then basically select the triangle, hit R and rotate this by 180 degrees. And let's put them in the position that we want. So first of all, I'm going to select the dot. Place this just like so. Then we have our text that we will be placing it and then the bottom section. So I'll select this text and hit control D to duplicate it. Let's pull this down and I'm going to rename this. Basically type in our third text that is happy. There we go. And let's increase the size. All right, I can use my arrow keys and now everything looks properly lined up. I can again use my arrow keys just to make sure that everything is properly lined up. And I think that is looking good. I can now close my guides and yeah, so our design is ready. Now we can start animating this. So let's hide everything and go step by step. So I'll start from animating this text that we have. So I'll select the rectangle tool and give it a different color so that we can see it more properly something like in gray and let's um, create a shape like so so this is going to act as a mask for our text basically i'm going to rename this to mask all right let's hide this we don't need to see it and then select the first text go into effects and preset and type in set mat double click to apply that up and then in the take mat from layer let's select the mask that we just created and then boom there we go it's gonna act as a track mat for our text so now we can go ahead and animate our text so i'll go into the text properties go into animate and add a position let's pull this down just like that go into the range selector and now we can animate it so i'll go to run um one second and 15 frames create a keyframe on the offset go back actually let's go all the way up to 100 and create an off create a keyframe go back and set this to minus 100 then go into the advanced properties and change this uh, and change the shape from square to ramp up so basically we have this really nice animation now to make it a bit more smoother i can change the ease low to all the way up to 100 and bring up the ease high to around let's go 15 percent so let's see our animation yep that is looking very nice same thing i can do with a second text so i can copy the animator hit ctrl c make sure the time indicator is at the very start select the text and hit ctrl v then let's go into the properties animator one and in the position i'm going to bring that up just like that and again i'm going to add the set mat effect on this select the mask layer and invert this up so boom there we have our text that is looking very nice now let's turn on our element section that is the dots that we have right here so let's animate them i'm going to select this mask Hit Ctrl D to duplicate it. So we have mask 2 and align this into the center just like that. Let's hit U two times and reveal the size of the shape. Let's increase this. So I'm going to keep it something like this really high. 
so that it covers the complete comp and basically now i'm going to animate this so i'll go right over here at one second in 15 frames create a keyframe on the size go back and set this to zero select the keyframes and hit f9 for easy ease them so basically we have a very simple animation let's hide this and select the dot layer add the set mat set mat and change this to mask 2 and boom there we have a nice animation for our dots now basically i'm going to turn on these lines and add the same set mat effect so hit ctrl c ctrl v as well so we have the similar animation for our line as well now select the mask layer again hit ctrl d to duplicate it now we have mask 3 hit u two times to reveal the properties and let's change the size to something like that and place this on the top like so all right let's hide this now i'm gonna select the animator from the christmas text Control c to copy it go back and add the animator on the other text that we have so i'm gonna select the text hit Control v to apply that up and we have something like that but we don't really want the similar effect so i'm gonna hit u two times to reveal all the properties going to position and let's actually change this i'm gonna put this somewhere around there yep and also go into the range selector one and in the advanced properties i'm gonna set the based on characters to words so we have something like this looks pretty nice and finally i'm gonna add a set mat on this as well change this to mask three and invert the mask so boom there we have this very nice text animation as you can see pretty good so let's select this go into the animator one actually and select and copy the animator one hit ctrl c to copy it select our fourth text that is happy new year so i'm gonna move at the very start and let's hit ctrl v to paste it up hit u two times to reveal the properties and this time i'm gonna move this to the bottom just like so so now we have something like this looks good and i can select the mask hit ctrl d to duplicate it make this visible and i'm gonna place it right over here all right let's hide this select the happy new year text set matte effect and set this to mask 4 invert it and boom there we go looks pretty good and i can delete the dots and i can also delete the line i believe yep and select the dot and the lines again hit ctrl d to duplicate them pull them to the pull them to the top just like so and then i can just drag them like that no and select the line move them right here so we have something like that and i also want to align the mask four with this line so i'm going to pull that up there we go that looks pretty nice as you can see and finally let's animate our triangles that we have so i'm going to select the um mask three i believe now so i'm going to select the mask four hit ctrl d to duplicate it so now we have mask five I'm gonna align this into the center and let's hit U two times to reveal the properties. Let's increase the size just like so. All right, let's hide this, select the triangle, add the set mat and change and take mat from layer, set this to mask five and invert this. I'm gonna hit, I'm gonna hit control C to copy paste it copy it and paste it on the triangle too as well so control v and i'll go to around two seconds select the triangles hit p create a keyframe go back and let's pull them out like so there we go now i'm gonna select everything hit u so we can see the keyframes 
and except the keyframes for the text, I'm going to select these two and the mask keyframes as well. So I'll hit U for this. So select it, hit F9, go into the graph editor, right click and make sure you're working in the edit speed graph, select them and drag them to the left like so. So we have a very nice animation. Let's see what we have. And yep, that is looking pretty nice. Now we can go ahead and offset, offset them a bit. So let's select the line and the dots offset them by few frames, I guess around five to 10 frames, maybe 10 frames. Then we have the triangle offset them a bit. And also I'm going to offset the happy new year and the second text that we had. Yep, there we go. So let's preview this and I think it's looking pretty nice. And now as you can see, it cuts up right over here, this, this uh, elements that we have. So to fix this, I can select the mask at U so we can see the mask and align this with the triangles. So now we have something like this looking pretty good so now finally i can go ahead and color this up so i'll be using a simple gradient ramp so i can select a triangle go into effects and preset add ramp and let's move and drag the point like so i'm going to change the black to a darker color and this one to a brighter red The color choice is completely up to you. You can make it as cool as you want. So I can hit Ctrl C to copy paste, copy it again and hit Ctrl V to paste that up. You can move this point like so and then swap the colors. That is looking good. And finally on the Christmas text as well, hit Ctrl V and let's pull that up like so and swap the color. Then this looks pretty awesome. And there we go. Our Christmas title text animation is ready. So that was a bit long tutorial, I guess, but I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, make sure to let me know in the comment section below. Also, make sure to subscribe to the channel. We are about to reach 300,000 subscribers, which is absolutely mind boggling. And also, if you guys are interested, you can check out my Gaze Graphic Pack, which is a 4000 plus elements animation graphics pack that you can check out. The link is in the description below. And we have a special offer going on on this pack that if you purchase this pack right now, you will be getting a 300 plus motion graphics pack absolutely free so make sure you go ahead and grab it i have mentioned the link in the description below it's the all-in-one pack and it's the only pack that you will ever need because it has so many different things like if i go right here you can see we have slideshows we have typography transitions titles lower thirds huge titles and so much more instagram stories instagram posts social media animations you know logo reveals animated devices call outs shape elements icons backgrounds infographics audio spectrum and so much more vintage badgets and you know sound effects as well so you don't need to look anywhere else once you purchase this pack and also we are giving away the 300 plus motion graphics pack absolutely free with this so make sure you check it out again the link is in the description and i will see you in the next video till then take care and always stay raw stay creative peace out